love the AJs. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I got this hairstyle on Erin. First, I started off with her freshly washed hair, and I always put leave-in conditioner in her hair so that it stays moisturized. I'm gonna put all of the products that I use in her hair in the description box below. I kinda like to put her leave-in conditioner in her hair in sections because she has a lot of hair. After I get the leave-in conditioner in her hair, I go ahead with my big tooth comb and I separate a section out, I comb it out, and then I blow dry it. I always use a heat protector, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray her hair with that heat protector, and then I'm gonna use my blow dryer and blow dry it out. The reason why I blow dry her hair is because she has a lot of hair, it's really, really thick, it's really, really curly, and it's so much easier for me to braid when her hair is much straighter. So once I finish the section, I go ahead and twist it to get it out of my way. And then I just go ahead and move on to the rest of her head. And I do the same thing all over. dried um, I go ahead and make a part from the front of her head towards the back of her head splitting her hair in two and then I tie up one side of her head to keep it out of the way Next I go in with some edge control and I just go ahead and put the edge control on both sides of my part. That way the part stays clean. For this particular hairstyle, I'm going to start at the back of her head and I'm going to create a part going from her ear to the center part. Once I create the part, I go in with my edge control to help keep it clean and make the braids last longer. And then I also go in with some moisturizing cream, that way her hair stays moisturized throughout this process. Once all of the product is in her hair, I go ahead and braid going from ear to the center part. Once I get to the center part, I braid it a little bit more and then I let it go and let it hang. I continue the same thing all the way up the top of her head, going from ear to center part using my edge control to make sure that it stays smooth and clean, and also using my moisturizer so that her hair stays moisturized.
All right, so I'm down to my last braid and I'm gonna braid it straight back. And this braid is going to be the start of the big braid where I'm going to braid all of the braids that I've already braided down towards the back of her neck, creating one big braid. Then I repeat and do the same thing on the other side of her head so that now when I'm complete, I will have two braids going down the back of her head. Once I'm done with the braids, I go ahead and take my edge control and just lay down her edges. I then use this rainbow string that I found in my local beauty supply and I use my crochet needle and I go ahead and feed the string crisscrossing over the braid so that they're tied together. And I continue this all the way down the braid. Once I get to the end of the braid, I just go ahead and just tie the strings and cut off the excess. I add a few jewels on her head and then I am done. If you guys have any questions on how I got this look, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.